To get started with 3D View, click View on the menu bar and select 3D View. 3D View is a great tool for visualizing data and interpretations from different perspectives. 3D visualization is invaluable for QCing fault interpretations, viewing geobodies, and creating stunning ready for presentation displays. Any data enabled in the control panel will be displayed in a 3D view, such as the regional grid you can see here. When first opened, the 3D view displays your data in plan view and is aligned to the project's XY coordinate system. You'll also notice a north arrow in the top left corner to help orientate yourself. The display tab contains options for modifying aspects of the display, such as changing the background color and font size and color. You can also hide objects, such as XY grid, to simplify the view. Navigating the 3D view is easy. Zoom in or out by controlling the mouse wheel. Rotate the view by using left click and drag. Right click and drag pans the data left, right, up or down to focus the center point on a specific area. Looking at the center of the screen, you'll see the center point denoted by a red, yellow, blue crosshair, which I'm currently flashing on and off using the display settings. The field of rotation is around this point. Another way to precisely place the center point is by using the anchor icons on the navigation bar. Clicking the first anchor icon, then clicking an object in the 3D view will center that location. The second anchor icon with a line centers on a seismic line and displays the line parallel to the screen for optimum display. To get back to the original centered perspective, Click the home button on the navigation bar, or press H on the keyboard. Let's hide the horizon to see the seismic more clearly. Seismic data is selected in a similar manner to other views. For example, 2D lines can be selected individually using Shift mouse button 1 in the linked map view or 3D view. Multiple 2D lines can be selected in the 3D view using Control mouse button 1 to view regional line sets. To select multiple lines in the map view, use Control mouse button 1 followed by mouse button 3 to show the selected lines in the 3D view. By selecting multiple adjacent 2D lines, the data can be quickly stepped through, helping to understand the spatial distribution of the reflections. The volume can be changed using the drop-down, and if the data belongs to a different survey, it will be resampled to the line that is being displayed. Here, the 3D volume is being resampled to display on the 2D line that intersects it. I am going to return to the display settings and clear the 2D survey lines to have an unobstructed view of the 3D seismic. To tidy up the display, such as those trailing horizons there, is the option to clip or center the dataset to a probe to limit the area of interest to a constrained 3D space. Let's turn off the 2D line and turn on an inline and crossline and time slice. Comparing seismic volumes is easy using the drop-down, the page up, page down keys, or mouse wheel. As well as displaying full stack, we might compare nears and fars, or even look at some enhancement attributes, such as the pseudo-relief. The 3D tab contains controls for adjusting the scale. Lower values will decrease the vertical exaggeration, as seen here. Remember to recenter the data after adjusting the scale. Scrolling the 3D data is possible using the increment arrows, the mouse wheel, or the cursor keys up, down, left, right. For a truly interactive experience, use Control mouse button 1 to drag the planes back and forth.
Under Volume Visualization, you can use a probe to display 3D data as a cube. Geo bodies can be revealed within a probe by constraining the displayed amplitude range using the opaque above below slider. Here is the entire volume, but look at the amazing detail when only the reservoir is selected. To add some definition to these amplitudes, check the Enable Lighting box. The Wells tab contains options for bulk display hide of all wells in 3D view, as well as control over well annotations such as labels, surface icons, and well path and log thicknesses. Checking the lathe log box allows the lathe rendering of curve values along the well bore. Horizons and faults will display as either an intersection or as a surface depending on the mode selected in the control panel. Right now, we're viewing the horizon and fault intersections. Let's adjust the display mode in the control panel and view the horizon as a surface. And same for the faults. The horizon section includes options for adjusting horizon mesh decimation and turning on and off lighting. Increasing the horizon decimation lowers the resolution of the horizon features and reduces memory usage. We'll decrease the decimation so we can see finer detail. To provide a realistic view of your horizon, let's check the box just below to enable lighting for horizons. Once the surface is displayed, let's right click and bring up options. From here, we can flatten the data on this horizon or erase portions. Let's click on Settings to display different properties for the horizon. Under Property, select RMS to calculate RMS amplitude across the specified window. You might have noticed the polygons. Polygons are displayed either as a constant two-way time, initially these are set at zero. Let's change them to 1500 milliseconds or they can be displayed draped on the Z value from a horizon. 3D View can use multiple surveys and be linked to other views. Look out for these workflows in the other how-to videos. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with insight!